Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. It is day 14 of the Tease the Season series. I've only done this introduction like 14 times now, so I don't know why I'll always stumble through this part. Let's just go ahead and dive in. Oh yes, come to mama. We have my beloved Honeybush Banana Nut. I think it's always a delight to sip this Honeybush Banana Nut from Adagio Teas. This was like one of the first few teas that I reviewed on my channel. Probably none of the other creators do this, but occasionally I will go back and watch old reviews. A lot of the times because, especially in those early days, Oliver was in my videos, so. Always, like seeing his little noggin pop up into frame always makes me happy. I, I still really enjoy this. It's funny though, because I am pretty sure that I said in that video that the Honeybush Banana Nut was a staple in my collection. I'm pretty sure when this ran out, I didn't go back and buy it again. I might have to consider snagging a bag of this the next time that I place an order with the Daggio Teas, because it is, it is a really delightful blend. I... I really enjoy this and this makes such an excellent like dessert tea latte. I'm just drinking a plain right now, but it does make an excellent dessert tea or an excellent latte. I tend to go heavy when I steep this though. I, I think I just like steeped this for like 15, 20 minutes just to get the most flavor out of it. I feel kind of nostalgic drinking this because it reminds me of like the, like the early days of my YouTube channel, all cringy and stuff. <laughs> I mean, sometimes my videos are still cringy. The only downside though is my morning has been so disjointed and I have not sat down and had my first cup of caffeinated tea of the day. So while I sip this, I'm actually just, just, just going to go ahead and dive into day 14 of the Tea and Me advent calendar and just cross my fingers that this is a caffeinated tea. I have a gut feeling though that it's not going to be caffeinated. <laughs> Okay, we have some more tips in tea. This is not quite as caffeinated as I was hoping. I actually have this matcha blueberry and I really enjoy it. Obviously you're not getting quality matcha in the tea bag. So if you're looking for bright green, you probably need to go somewhere else. But the blueberry flavoring in this is like really addictive and I really enjoy this. I've not had the I've not had the turmeric, ginger and lemon yet and I'm just really not feeling that flavor combination right now. I'm gonna go dig around in my stash and see if I can't find something else to drink. This may be still holiday right. themed. All right, so the tea that I have chosen to wake myself up with finally at like almost noon is Winter Earl Grey from David's Tea. And this is a blend of black tea, pink pepper, white tea, natural cream and vanilla flavoring, cornflower petals, bergamot oil, and natural orange flavoring. And I don't know if this blend is still available through David's Tea anymore. I picked it up, it must have been back in November when I, I don't know, I got some alert that they were doing like early release of their holiday blends. So I picked up this one, their Wear Hazelnut, which everybody loves except for me. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. And Snow Day and Let It Snow and White Chocolate Cranberry Bark, which is amazing, and the Caramel Shortbread. And of course, this, this Winter Earl Grey. Of the seasonal blends that I picked up, this one was among my favorites. It's a really lovely interpretation of an Earl Grey. I don't see how it's wintry, but it is a softer Earl Grey. I mean, the white tea blended with the black tea kind of creates a softer, less brisk tea base. The vanilla and the cream flavor kind of add to a little mellowness. And then even the inclusion of the natural orange flavoring and, and the bergamot oil as opposed to like bergamot extract just creates this softer, sweeter citrus orange flavor. This is just a really nice blend. Also, can I just say like one of the coolest things about being a mother is all of the art projects that Oliver brings home from school. <laughs> this was my Christmas present. I opened it up early because I just could not wait. It says Joy and the O is Santa Claus or as Oliver calls him, Sinny. He just points to him and goes, Sinny. Sydney. I think it's his hand. I think it's his handprint. <laughs> and then on the inside is some like fake snow and some fairy lights. So this actually, this actually lights up. 
I love it. I love it so much. He's been doing a lot of art projects at school lately. <laughs> Like this one, Mary Grinchmas. And of course, this is his little hand print. A lot of hand and feet painting. Uh, he did some turkeys for Thanksgiving where they painted his feet. And I guess, I guess he really likes getting his feet painted. <laughs> the only thing though is like when he's at the house, he then, whenever we have paint out, he then paints his body. I don't, I don't know what it is about the end of the day where I just suddenly lose my glass mug, but... I am on to the last tea of the day from Plum Deluxe, which is their holiday berry green tea. And this is a blend of green tea, blueberry pieces, raspberry pieces, calendula, blue cornflower, blueberry and raspberry essence, and as usual, love and gratitude. And um, I want to like this blend, but I don't think I do. It's green tea forward, followed by some light berry flavors. I just, I don't, I think it's the green tea that I don't like. And I think that's actually a lot of times my issue with flavored green teas is I don't actually like the green tea that they're using as the base. If I'm gonna drink green tea, I just kind of want it plain. This has some kind of like weird, straw flavor to it, or even like, like almost like composted sun scorched grass. While I don't necessarily, I know this is going to sound weird, like I don't necessarily dislike those aromas, but paired with a flavoring, it just tastes weird. <laughs> I want to like this blend because I appreciate the fruit flavoring, but I don't appreciate it with the bait, like whatever green tea they're using. The green tea is just not working for me here. We also have, what do we also have? Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> We have the next day of whatever this is. Tea thoughts. Man, I am so tired. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm not sleeping this entire month of December. And it might actually have something to do with like how much tea I'm consuming slash how much like caffeinated tea I am consuming late in the day. Because a lot of times I don't finish filming these until like 5 p.m and I might be drinking a cup of black tea at 5 p.m. And you know what, for most people that might be okay, but like, I don't know, in my old age, I suddenly cannot consume caffeine past like noon. I like, I fall asleep really easily, but then like I wake up at midnight and I'm just like wired. I should just get up and work. I <laughs> just instead lay in bed watching ASMR videos, trying to fall back asleep, but <laughs> I digress. Tea thoughts. I already know what these are, so I'm not going to look excited, but I am excited. We have some sticky notes. So we have two little teacups on sort of like this blush colored paper. We also have this sticky note that says, I chide. And this is how I feel most days. <laughs> I wish I could buy cute office supplies, but <laughs> Like the accountant in me is like, that just is really impractical. But these are so delightful. I look forward to using these. I actually don't have any sticky notes. I do this really terrible thing where I just write on whatever piece of paper is closest to me, which is usually something payroll related. And then it gets filed away with payroll. And then I forget what note I wrote for myself. So these should work out a lot better. And I know that I just was talking about how drinking caffeine so late in the day is what I'm pretty sure is keeping me awake at night. I feel so tired right now that I think I need to go make myself like a cup of black tea. Oh, I will say though, it's not it's not five o'clock, so I might actually go and revisit the Baltimore breakfast from white tea that I received in like an earlier video from from the Tea Thoughts box. But a cup of breakfast tea sounds really nice right now. So does a nap. But that brings us to the end of this video. Um, I would love to know if you drink flavored green teas. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite flavored green teas are. And as usual, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow for day 15. I feel like I was gonna say something after that, <laughs> but I lost my train of thought. So... Awkward segue. Bye!